Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, the title of this section is Which Pages Are Most Effective and How Can They Be Improved? Some of the points we will cover in this section include answers to questions like which pages work the best on our website. There we will dive into the topic of exit and bounce rates. Uh, in our demonstration, we're going to have a, a plot which plots the pages with the highest exit and bounce rates, which will essentially make up our biggest loser and biggest winner table on our website. And as before, we'll continue to combine these plots into our business dashboard. And then we'll also consider interpretations uh, of those results, as well as some ideas on how we can improve high exit and bounce rates on our web page. So the title of this video is Exit Rate and Bounce Rates. What is the difference and why do they matter? Some of the topics we will cover include what is an exit rate? What is a bounce rate? What are the advantages and disadvantages of each metric? And a very important question, how do you know if your exit rate or bounce rate for a particular page is too high? So to start off our first topic of exit rate and bounce rates, one key difference is exactly what these two metrics measure. So each of these metrics, the exit rate and the bounce rate, really measures how often a user leaves our website from a particular page. So in the case of an exit rate, we'll see um, an example of this on the left. We can see a user coming in. Let's say they go to this first page during the session. They will visit a series of pages and they will leave from this last page. So in this example, we'll have the exit rate calculated from this third page here at the end. Now the bounce rate is something very similar, but it's a very specific case of a user's visit. In that case, when Google calculates a bounce rate, it measures that the rate of a, that a page is actually the only page viewed during a session. So exit rates measure how often a user will leave our site from a particular page, regardless of how the user gets there. However, a bounce rate is only when the user comes in just for one view and then they leave from that page. So the bounce rate will only be calculated from that first page we see here on the left. Now a question is, is a high exit rate for a page always a bad thing? Well, the answer to that question is no. And here's the reason for this. Because the exit rate measures something very specific. It measures the percentage of visitors who click away from a different site from a specific page. So an exit rate may actually mean uh, two different things. It could mean that they're leaving because they don't like what they see, or it could be because they actually completed uh, the process, maybe they bought the product, maybe they read the last article in a series of blog posts. So in, in an exit rate, one way that we can measure it would be uh, a situation that's shown here on the right. Let's say the user comes in and then they leave after this second page without going to the end goal, which is shown in green. So here, maybe the exit rate, having a high exit rate on the second page uh, may be a bad thing. However, an exit rate on the third page will not. This is because uh, they're leaving in a way or at a point that we want them to leave at after completing the goal. Now we can contrast this with a bounce rate. Is a high bounce rate always a bad thing? Well, the answer here is usually it is. And the reason why is because a bounce rate or a page having a high bounce rate means that a user came to your site, they left without doing anything else. You know, they didn't go any further, they didn't go and accomplish your goal. Um, as one uh, very famous web analytics writer says, uh, about having a high bounce rate is something like the user coming, you know, I came, I puked, and I left. And so having a high bounce rate on a home page is usually a sign that something is wrong and is actually a very good indicator that specific actions should uh, be taken to improve that bounce rate. And uh, here are some numbers too. Here, uh, just typically, you're going to have uh, many pages where um, if you have a rate that's, let's say, less than 35% on your homepage, then that's gonna actually be very, very good. Anywhere from 30 to 60 is gonna be in the okay range. And any page with a higher than 60% bounce rate 
uh, is going to be a problem. So here again are some indicators of problem areas or, or leaks uh, in our web page that we can fix. So some of the points we have learned in this video is what is a bounce rate, what is a exit rate. We've also considered uh, what are high exit and bounce rate always bad things. We've learned that for exit rates, it's not always a bad thing. Uh, it can be uh, a sign that the users are accomplishing the goal that we want them to, where a high bounce rate is usually going to be a bad thing. Um, users coming, not liking what they see, and leaving immediately. And we also saw some numbers uh, to go along with those statistics that anything maybe above 50 or 60% is going to be a a bad bounce rate that you'll want to address.